Stargate yet. Sunken Colony going down in the back for Saint. So he's anticipating some sort of harassment here, it looks like. Um, I'm not sure if he's anticipated Reavers specifically or if he's just playing it safe in case there's something like a DT drop coming. Uh, those Overlords are uh, clustered up at the front together with a bunch of Hydras, so he may be anticipating the. Uh, maybe I've just been in DTs. Uh, in, in which case, he's, uh, he's, he's guessed wrong, but it may not matter all that much. He does have lurkers out now. Uh, three lurkers pressing across the field. But with that robotics facility already out, uh, it won't take too long for Best to get observers out. Those Corsair are sniping a couple of overlords, so... Good play there by Best. Uh, oh, he's gonna run across all those Hydras, though. Uh, taking some damage on one of those Corsairs. Oh, and meanwhile, lurkers are attacking that uh, those temples, and lurkers with the splash damage take down the temples relatively quickly. That pylon is going to see it coming, but there's no cannon there, so he's not going to be able to do very much. Putting down pylons in preparation for taking that mineral only, but uh, but he doesn't have uh, forces back there, and he doesn't have any cannons. So, uh, Saint may be able to get in the back and do some damage. Templar archives and observatory going down simultaneously. And uh, a couple of overlords have been taken out, that big cluster of overlords. Uh, if Best had just a couple more Corsairs, he could probably run in there and kill a lot of them. Uh, we'll see if he tries now. Lurker's still hacking away at those temples, and it won't be too long until the temples do go down. So we'll see what Best's plans are for uh, defending the back of his base. Uh, he's going to need to do something, because he hasn't taken down enough Overlords to prevent Saint from pumping a, a, a buttload of Hydras from uh, all of his hatcheries. Best is uh, is being brave and is putting down that uh, that nexus. Meanwhile, Reaver picking off a lurker who was trying to do some damage to the gateway. And now the temples are down, and Saint is streaming in the back with a lot of forces. Best looks surprised. Uh, maybe Best just didn't see the damage uh, to the temples. Lots and lots of zealots out, so it looks like maybe he was going for some sort of plus one speed lock attack, and he is now pushing out. Uh, he's sending another force to the back, but I don't think that's going to be enough to deal with all these uh, forces of saints that are here now. Oh! <laughs> brilliant by Best! Best is actually going around the long way, and he's going to try to take this force from the back. And th this is brilliant against those Hydras, because the Hydras do need maneuverability against speed laws, and the speed laws are going to pincer the Hydras from both sides. There are all those lurkers there. But uh, meanwhile, two Reavers dropping into the back, and oh man, brilliant, brilliant play by Best! And Best has pincered this entire force and and just absolutely destroyed it. Saint losing, uh, Saint losing his whole army simultaneously, losing a lot of forces in the back. Uh, forced to pull his drones off this hatchery, loses <laughs> loses a bunch of eggs, and uh, Best is going to play cautiously and, and pull that shuttle out uh, in case there were scourge or uh, all those hydras coming. Um, but uh, he's he's done quite a bit of damage and, and uh, he did lose his nexus, but I think he's come out ahead on balance. At the same time, he's a little bit behind economically. He is uh, working off two bases to four at the moment. But he has a big force, and now he's going to press out with uh, with all these uh, speed lots and the Reaver. And I think he may be able to take down this one o'clock base. Because uh, Saint lost a lot of Hydralisks. And uh, the forces he has left, he still has a significant number of troops, but uh, it's it's not going to be enough, I don't think, with, with all these... Uh, with this Reaver Speedlot combination here. I'd really like to see Disruption Web too. It, it does cost a lot <laughs> because you have to put down the Fleet Beacon, which is pretty expensive. Now Best is running in. Uh, disruption Web could be effective against all those Hydras, but at any rate, it looks like... Oh no, the shuttle gets picked off! The shuttle gets picked off with the Reaver, and the, no the second Reaver gets picked off, and now Best is in a little bit of trouble. Best is, uh, has lost a lot of uh, forces, and he didn't manage to take down this hatchery. So, uh, mistake there by Best. Uh, Corsairs, it looks like we're in the back. They may have taken down some overlords, but uh, they got chased off. And uh, Best Best was in a very good position and then sort of squandered that lead by not protecting his uh, shuttle and reefers well enough. So uh, Best has, has claimed that uh, back base now. So he's going to be close to economic parity. Uh, three bases to four is, is an alright position for a Protoss to be in in PvZ. But... Uh, one of those bases being a mineral only. He's behind two gases to three. Meanwhile, Hydra's pushing in the back again. Uh, the, the speed lots are going to scout it out. Uh, but not a lot of room for the Hydra's to maneuver there. Oh, and uh, Templar coming up to lay down some storms. And on this narrow ramp, storms will be absolutely devastating to those Hydra's. We'll see if the Templar... There, there is a storm. Great, great storm. Uh, and an uh, okay storm to follow it up. But uh, 
Oh, and another storm. Wow, just raping those Hydras. And, and five or six Hydras go down. Those Templar are going to be taken out. Another Templar. Best should pull that Templar back before it gets sniped off. Oh, and, uh, and another Great Storm taking out two Hydras, and that's going to force Saint back. Uh, DT running in here, and uh, Overlord gonna uh, gonna detect it, and it gets picked off, but it does take out two drones. Meanwhile, Corsair's going in the back. They're going to try to snipe a couple of Overlords. They get one, um, and then they're forced back. Uh, almost get that second one. But... Uh, Best is clearing out the back of his base here, um, and he does have two more Reavers out, plus a lot of Templar, so... Uh, we'll see at this point. The Saint probably could try to expand again, um, and uh, reclaim the economic lead at this point, because he, he does have map control for the moment. Best is going to try to press out. We'll see whether this is successful. But uh, Best is being forced back. If, if Best is able to break out here, Best will be in a very good position because once he has this force out in the middle of the map, he'll be able to... And it looks like he has good storms there by Best. Uh, and Best is slowly venturing out. These these lurkers are, are going to be forced back. So, as I say, now that Best is out in the middle of the map, he's going to be able to pump a lot of forces from uh, three uh, bases worth of resources. So... He, so long as he can keep this force out in the middle of the map and not be forced back into his base and not have, uh, not get surrounded and destroyed by Saint, he will be in a fairly good position, um, and he'll be in a position to claim some extra bases. Uh, map control really, really important in PVZ. The the Protoss player can afford to sacrifice map control for a little bit, unlike in PVT where, uh, you know, once the Terran player really gets the contain locked in, that's just about it. But uh, in the long term, the Protoss player does need to uh, come out like Best is doing now and uh, get a force out and active in the middle of the map to deny expansions and uh, claim expansions for himself. A uh, very Dragoon heavy force here, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, storming nothing there for, for no reason. But uh, Hive Tech going down now. Uh, Hive is just up actually, so. Cracklings will be out shortly. Uh, the upgrade's probably already begun, I'd imagine. Um, and uh, Cracklings really just lay waste to Dragoons. Um, <laughs> and and Defiler Man, too. Uh, just just going up now. And once those Defilers are out, uh, this, uh, Dark Swarm combined with Cracklings uh, really is, is the bane of Dragoons almost as much as it's the bane of, uh, of uh, late-game Terran forces. But uh, now, now a big fight coming in, and, and Saints throwing his forces in piecemeal. He, he could have done a lot more damage if he concentrated his forces. But it looks like the crack upgrade is done, and his Zerglings are doing a lot of damage to those Dragoons. And even if he loses this battle, it'll be... No, it looks like he's going to win this battle. And, uh, oh no, Best has more forces in the back, so never mind. Best ha has, uh, has a pretty big army left standing, um, but still loses uh, quite a few Dragoons there. Whoa, and flying that shuttle out... It, 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 I, I don't know why he's doing that. Almost loses that shuttle for no good reason. Um, uh, it's a little bit of sloppy play here from both players, I think. But, uh, oh, and, uh, no, that wasn't the shuttle. Uh, that was something else going down. But uh, Best is forcing back Saint here. Oh, and Best has taken out a uh, hatchery in the back for Saint. Meanwhile, more cracklings just streaming down. I think Best needs to pull back here. Best really needs to fall back, or, or this force is just going to be whittled away to nothing. And he is slowly uh, microing back. He has more zealots there.